Hiya folks, welcome back. If you watched the last video, you will have seen that I've suddenly had a little bit of a wake up call regarding Google account security when a popular channel that I followed on YouTube got hacked. They had a whole load of random football videos uploaded to their channel and the last I checked their channel had been completely shut down, which is heartbreaking to watch. And as I say, it really gave me a bit of a kick up the backside to remind me that I am fairly dependent on Google and a lot of people are fairly dependent on Gmail and many other services that Google provide. So it's a good idea to keep your Gmail account as secure as possible. So I've spent 50 quid and I've bought my Google Titan security keys. So you get two keys, so they're essentially like 25 quid each. It's a small price to pay to keep your account up to date. So let's have a look at what's in the box. So we've got a little get started guide, warranty stuff. And there are our brand new little Google two-factor authentication keys that we need to get up and running. So basically you've got your primary key and a backup key. The primary key is Bluetooth and your backup key is USB only. Your Bluetooth key can also be USB and to supply a little USB cable that you just plug into the bottom there and you can then plug that into your computer. And if you need for whatever reason to plug this into your phone for authentication, if the Bluetooth isn't working or whatever, then they also supply the little USB-C adapter as well. I'll take you through me setting it all up. I'll quickly show you the quick start guide that they supply. Let's get started with your Titan security key. Let's see what it says. So it says here, visit g.co slash security key for instructions on using the key for two-step verification. And if you face a high risk of targeted online attacks, visit g.co slash advanced protection to learn about the advanced protection program, Google's strongest security offering. So I presume we need to register the keys first and then we can tie the keys to whatever Google accounts we need it to connect to. Have a quick browse through the rest of this, nothing. Oh, well, that's it. And then we're into French from that point onwards. So it's only a couple of pages. It gives you a bit of information about charging it, unpairing your Bluetooth key. And we've got information for Android and iOS. I'm going to be setting it up on Windows and Android. I have no idea how you set it up on Apple products, but I'm assuming there's videos out there that will guide you through the process. Now, as per usual, I am not an expert in the field of Google account security, but I'm just going to take you through what I'm doing to secure my own Google accounts, and hopefully you can learn from that. There's going to be quite a lot to cover off in this video, so I'm going to break it down and you can see the timings on the screen at the minute. In part one, I'm going to be setting up the two-factor authentication or two-step verification as it sometimes gets called for my Google account using Google Titan. For most people, that'll probably be more than enough to protect your Google account. And you can do it even just using a built-in security key that's on your mobile phone. I'd rather keep it separate and have a separate physical security key rather than using the inbuilt one on my phone. But if you want to get this up and running straight away, I'll include a link in the description. There are mobile phones that can be used for the two-step verification, which means you don't even have to bother buying a separate two-factor authentication fob. There's pros and cons to going down that route. I'm not going to go into that at the minute. I'm going to set up Google's advanced protection program for my own accounts. I'm then going to take you through setting up Google Titan from my mobile phone to access my Gmail account remotely and securely. And then I'm going to take you through how I'm using all of this to secure my YouTube channels and how I use it across multiple accounts. Remember, the Advanced Protection Program is an additional layer of security above your normal two-factor authentication for your Google accounts. Advanced Protection adds things such as you have to use a security key such as Google Titan or the key built into your mobile phone. It limits access to your Google account by third-party apps. If you've got apps that rely on your Google account for access to the apps, then they might stop working. And the advanced protection program also tightens up the account recovery process. So if a hacker impersonates you to try and recover your account 
the program takes a few extra steps to verify your identity. I have no idea what those extra steps are, but it sounds good to me. The important thing to remember in all of this is that nothing is 100%. And even once you get two-factor authentication and advanced protection set up, it doesn't guarantee that your account isn't going to get hacked. There are still ways and means of getting around this, especially with things like viruses. So just because you've got advanced protection doesn't mean you can be blasé about security. If you get a virus on the computer where advanced protection is being used, I wouldn't like to guarantee that that virus couldn't allow access to your Google account if that computer is already authenticated. So just bear that in mind, nothing is 100%, but it's a massive improvement on just using a normal username and password to access your Gmail account. With all of that in mind, let's crack on and get this done. So I've gone to the address that it says in the little guide and it's taken us to the page to buy a security key and I've already got a security key, I don't need to buy another one. So uh, unfortunately there's no obvious button that says register your key, which I'm assuming that's the next stage of this process. I can't see anything obvious on here that tells me how to register the key. So uh, okay, I think you need to sort that out Google. We've got lots of information on how to buy one, but... What's the point in telling you how to buy one when you've obviously just bought one? Let's have a look at view documentation. I'm going to try use a security key for two-step verification. It says go to your Google account and on the left navigation panel click security. And then in signing into Google click two-step verification. So it looks like I need to set up two-step verification first. Let's do that. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to set up my phone as two-factor authentication first. Uh, I'll just see what's in this, choose another option. Security key, a small physical device used for signing in. I wonder if I can jump straight to that. Have your security key. Make sure your key is with you but not connected to the computer. Okay, I'll try that. Next. Insert your security key into the USB port, which I have done. Touch your security key. Done myaccount.google.com wants to see the mate and model of your security key okay security key registered you have to give it a name i'm going to call that andy main done awesome and then i'm assuming i'll just do add security key to add the backup one let's try that i've unplugged the primary key i'll do next it's asking me to plug the key in so I'm going to plug the secondary key in and then I'm just going to click the button on it again it's asking to see the make and model of the security key allow I'm going to call that Andy backup done I guess that's it so I'm going to unplug that from the computer completely I'm not having any alternative methods of authenticating because that would defeat the object Let's give it a try. So the first thing, I'm just checking my Gmail account. You can see I've got an email come through saying that two-step verification is now turned on, which is splendid. Just out of matter of interest, let's see what happens if I sign out. Yeah, so it's still asking for my normal password. Ah, okay. And it's asking for the key, which is fine. Let's do that done and we've got a little tick box that says don't ask again on this computer which is fine go for it next so I'm assuming now if I log out and log back in yeah so that's logging in now fine without the key because this computer is already authenticated so now that that's done, I'm going to get the Google Advanced Protection Program up and running. So all I've done is I've gone to that address that it says in the little getting started guide that says to go to g.co slash advanced protection. And I'm just going to click get started. Enroll in Google's strongest account security. Yes, please. Type my details in. And it's trying to use my mobile phone by default, which I don't want. I want to use the security key. Enroll with a security key instead. Again, it's a bit clunky that this is telling me not to use Titan. 
when I've specifically just bought Titan, but well, whatever. So it looks like I'm going to have to click this little link at the bottom here that says use two keys. So it says get security keys. Well, I've already done that. Uh, I've already registered them, really. Uh, do I have to do that again? Uh, okay, that makes literally no sense because I've already done all of this. Let's just try doing it again. I'm, <laughs> I'm learning as I'm going here, folks. This is the sort of problems you're probably going to run into. Admin key. I've already done this. And we'll do the backup key. I think I should have just gone straight to this advanced protection thing. I don't think I needed to do the the other thing first. Done. Before you enroll in advanced protection, do not do this if it's going to cause a problem. Read up on this for your own personal situation. I don't think it's going to cause a problem for anything that I use. So let's do enroll. You'll be signed out of all devices, including the one that you are currently signed in on. Fine, go. You've successfully enrolled. Sign back in. Do next. Do password. Do the key. Done. Let's just try Gmail. And I've now got an email that says ready to turn on advanced protection. And I've got this one saying your account's defended by advanced protection. Awesome. So the next thing to do is to try and get things set up on my phone. It tells me I need to go into the settings of my Android phone and accounts. Go into my Gmail account. I'm going to go into Google account and at the minute it says something went wrong. You need to sign in again, which is fine. I'm just going to click sign in, verify that it's you click next, type my password in and next. So let's try use security key with Bluetooth and see if it works. Two step verification ready to pair your security key. Pair your key to this device so you can use it. Yeah, whatever. Get into pairing mode. Press the button on your security key for at least five seconds. Okay, the little Bluetooth light is flashing on it now, and we've got a little thing popped up. Uh, I guess it's that. It's asking for the six-digit pin on the back of the key. Okay. I'm just going to press the button on the key. It's not telling me to press the button on the key, but I'm going to do it anyway. It doesn't seem to be doing very much. I'll try pressing the button again. Marvellous. Well, that's not working at all. I'm going to go into my Bluetooth settings. It looks suspiciously like it's not connected to any Bluetooth device at the minute. I'm going to do pair new device. I'm going to put the key in Bluetooth mode again. I'm just holding my finger on it. Marvellous. If I could have guessed a thing that wouldn't work, it would be the Bluetooth thing. Bluetooth, honestly, it's useless. Ironically, the sum up device that it's picking up is a sum up card reader that I haven't even, t it's still in the shrink wrapped box. How's it picking that up? <laughs> I have no idea. Hmm, well the Bluetooth just isn't working at all. That's not great. Do I need to make my phone discoverable? Let's see if that makes a difference. No, nah. well that's just not working at all. That's absolutely crap. Let's try, um, I'll, I'll have to do the physical cable, I think, to authenticate this device, which defeats the object a bit. Sort it out, Google. Oh, <laughs> it's worked now. Literally all I did was go through the process again and it's it's picked it up fine. I haven't needed to plug the physical cable in, so okay, fine, done I guess. Yep, and Gmail's working. There's my email saying that my account is protected with advanced protection. Cool. Right, so account protection seems to be working fine for my primary account now, and that means I'm protected on my computer and from my mobile phone with full Titan two-factor authentication. The next thing I want to do is to protect my YouTube channel, and I'm going to test that on my old Andy Mac Drums channel, because there's no way I'm going to do it on one of my main bigger channels until I know that it's not going to break it in some sort of way. Now, interestingly, 
In my Andy Mac Drums channel, which was a recovery account for the account that I've just done, that account has had an email saying success advanced protection is on, but then it refers to the original email address. It's not referring to my Andy Mac Drums Gmail address. So I'm not 100% whether or not account protection's already on. What I'm going to do, um, I've signed into my Andy Mac Drums Gmail account. I'm going to go into manage your Google account. I'm going to go into security. And yeah, at the minute, it doesn't have two-step verification on at all. So what I want is advanced protection for this account as well. How do I do that? Uh, okay, I've had a good look around here and I can't find any way of switching advanced protection on from my Google account. Um, so I'm going to go to the advanced protection web address that we went to before. I'm just going to go through the same process and see if it works. Account protection's already on. Marvellous, but this isn't the account that I'm doing it for. I'm doing it for a different account. I think what I'm going to have to do is sign out of this one. Let's do. Let's sign out of all accounts. And now I'll do the advanced protection get started again. And this time I'll pick my Andy Mac Drums account. Enroll, yep, go. Register security keys. Okay, so I just need to go through the process again by the looks of it. Uh, hopefully it'll not complain that I've already done this for a different account. That seems to have worked. Okay, we'll do the don't ask again on this computer. So we are apparently now protected by advanced protection, which is good. Let's sign out, sign back into my primary account, and then sign into my Andy Mac Drums account. Looking good. Let's just check YouTube works. Yay, it seems fine. Looking good. Okay, I'm relatively confident to do that on the main channel, so let's do that for the Small Business Toolbox channel. I'm gonna sign out of everything. Sign out. I've gone back to the Advanced Protection Program site, and I'm gonna do Get Started. This time I'm doing my Small Business Toolbox account. We'll sign in. Enroll in the program, yep. Register our keys. Add the main key. Add the backup key. Next, enroll. Enroll in advanced protection. Go. Done. Sign back in. Next. done that is basically it pretty straightforward had that little bluetooth glitch on the phone but it seemed to work eventually worst case scenario you can obviously just plug the cable in but i don't know what was going on with the bluetooth thing on the phone but that seems to be it as i say folks take security of your gmail account and obviously your youtube account seriously if you've been using Google Titan or Advanced Protection for a while, let us know how you've been getting on in the comments below. Obviously, there are other ways and means that you can protect your account through two-factor authentication. You don't have to use the Google Titan method, but I would rather use the one that's properly designed to work with Google since obviously I'm on YouTube and things and I don't really want an opportunity for things to go wrong. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Tatty bye.